Deep within the heart of the sun, where light has not touched and matter is crushed under its own weight, something extraordinary happens. Here in the core, a nuclear fire rages with unimaginable intensity. Temperatures soar beyond 15 million degrees Celsius, and the pressure is so immense that it forces the very building blocks of the universe, hydrogen atoms, to collide, fuse, and become something new. This process is called nuclear fusion. It's not like the fire in your fireplace, which burns fuel in the presence of oxygen. This is deeper, older, more elemental. In fusion, four hydrogen nuclei are slammed together to create a single helium nucleus. But here's the twist. The mass of that helium atom is slightly less than the total mass of the four original hydrogen atoms. That missing mass, it doesn't disappear. It transforms into energy, a colossal amount of it, as described by Einstein's famous equation, E dot MC2. Every second, the sun converts around 600 million tons of hydrogen into helium. In doing so, it releases energy equivalent to billions of hydrogen bombs exploding at once. This energy radiates outward from the core, gradually making its way to the surface and then across the void of space, taking about eight minutes to reach us here on Earth as warm sunlight. It is this light that makes life possible, that powers our ecosystems, that fuels the winds and ocean currents, that lets us see, breathe, and grow. But the sun's fusion engine is not eternal. It is stable because gravity and pressure are in perfect balance with the explosive force of fusion. For now, the sun is in its main sequence phase, a period of relative calm that can last billions of years. Yet like all things in the universe, this balance is temporary. Eventually, the hydrogen in the core will run low. The fusion will slow. Gravity will begin to win. The core will contract, heat up even more, and the sun will begin fusing helium instead. Its outer layers will expand, swallowing nearby planets. It will become a red giant. And finally, when all fuel is spent, the fusion will stop. The light will dim. The sun will collapse into a white dwarf, a dense ember of its former glory. Until then, the sun burns, quietly, steadily, fueling life while hiding the countdown in its core.